What's up everybody, welcome back to the Ride and Dad channel or welcome if it is your first time. Either way, very glad to have you. If you saw last week's video, you should know what this week's video is about. Last week we went ahead and installed the upgraded speakers for my Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Stock speakers are 40 millimeters, the upgraded speakers are 45 millimeters. Uh, last week we did the install of them, I showed you how to swap it out, do the firmware updates, all that kind of stuff. This week, we're doing my first impressions of them. How, you know, do I think they're worth the money? Uh, do I think you can actually tell the difference? All that kind of stuff. Um, let's roll the intro. I'll get my helmet back on, get my gloves back on. We'll start riding. It's a beautiful day in sunny Southwest Florida. Uh, as of right now, it'll get hot later, but it's beautiful right now, taking advantage of the ride, riding weather. Let's roll the intro, let's start the video. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 riding down a YouTube channel. Alrighty, let's get out of this parking lot. And I'll tell you guys what I think about these speakers. So, I actually did use them for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes before uh, I started this video and wow uh, there is a big difference I would say these are louder if not at the very least the same amount of loudness uh, as the Lexan I reviewed and the Lexan got loud but the main difference like I talked about with the Cardo is that the speaker quality is amazing. Uh, in these speakers, there is zero distortion, even having the volume all the way turned up. There is absolutely no distortion. Uh, it just it just sounds really good. There's no issues with the bass, no issues with you know being able to hear anything. And uh, and again, I'll reiterate, my bike is a loud bike. Uh, it has a stage two done to it, which is a cam and everything. It is just, it's a loud bike. So not hearing music is an issue that I would have for sure. And uh, just don't have it with this car. I didn't, like I said, I didn't really have it before uh, until I went to go like highway speeds and then going, you know, 70, 75 for a long time. Um, I also have a slightly geared down chain conversion on this so my bike idles or sorry not idles um, the RPMs ride a little bit higher on this bike than they would a stock version of this bike so it, it is a little bit louder to begin with because your RPMs are gonna be higher whatever speed you're going so I have I have a lot of things uh, going against me being able to hear my audio. I will say the helmet that I have, the Ride Corsair X, is a fairly quiet helmet, but I got it a lot because of how well it vents, and the, the reason why I love it so much uh, in Florida, stupid heat. So it can only be so quiet. It is a quiet helmet. Like right now, I have all of the vents closed because it's actually kind of chilly out, and uh, it's not that loud, but it is still loud, and then Obviously, I still got the bike noise just droning on and on. So, a lot of things going against me and never had an issue with the Cardo, uh, but these 45 millimeter speakers are 100% worth it. Let's just take a minute to listen to these downshifts. Mm. They sound so good, and there is two of uh, my biker brethrens up ahead of me. I do not know who they are, but they ride bikes nonetheless. So yeah, should you get, should you buy this? Let's say, let's go back to the full price. If it's uh, what was it like almost 90 bucks? It was 80 something. Uh, that's what it was before I got it on sale. Uh, I say yeah. I say 80 something dollars. I would definitely do it. Uh, I think it's worth every penny. It is a huge difference from the stock speakers. You are able to play the music all the way up without having any distortion, at least in my experience. I think they are worth it for sure. The speakers are also a little bit thicker, 
so that means you're gonna have the speakers be closer to your head and honestly in this helmet I have room to put the speakers even closer to my head with if you guys watch it the adapters like the little spacers that it comes with uh, I am able to do that in this helmet but I didn't even do that yet I figured if I really needed to I could take the pads out and everything oh by the way sidebar real quick I uh, last video and every video I've ever talked about the Arai how much of a pain it was to get the uh, speakers in and deal with the cheek pads and everything. Well, I have figured out, I don't know if it's a necessarily cheat or if everybody has been doing it this way and I have just been an idiot, uh, but I have figured out a way better way to take the cheek pads out and go ahead and mess with the uh, speaker system, like the speaker pockets and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, way easier. I actually find this helmet easier than possibly other helmets because of how it works now and how I have figured out how to do it. So, uh, way on board. And all it took was about changing my speakers four or five times in a year. So, <laughs> so yeah, I would say 100% worth it for the full price, 80 something dollars. Honestly, even if they were like $100, I would say they were worth it. Um, just being able to have it up really loud. Maybe you're in a noisy area, you know, your bike is super loud like mine, or even louder than mine. There's louder bikes than mine for sure. Uh, you know, maybe you have a short, straight-piped um, Sportster with, uh, you know, whatever SNS, I can't remember the cubic inch, whatever it is. Maybe you have a louder bike than mine, and that's even a worse issue, or you have a lot of helmets are much louder than my Rye, so maybe your helmet is a lot louder, and you have issues with that too. Uh, just being able to turn it up. You don't necessarily even need to need that extra volume all the time but just having it there it also makes the speaker quality that much better when you have it at a lower volume uh, obviously as well same concept as headphones if you guys watched my last video know that I had an issue with setting up the uh, the application and unlocking the audio profile as well and my issue was that they were already unlocked so I'm not sure if I need to be doing something extra or not uh, and I did speak with Cardo the customer service was very good I'm gonna save that to the end and I will tell you guys what the outcome was over there. Or not over there. At the end, I will tell you guys what the outcome was. Um, I think uh, most of you guys probably will guess it correctly. I, I kind of guessed it correctly ahead of time of what they were going to say. But yeah, overall, I mean, they're speakers. I don't know what else I can say about them. They're good. Cardo as a brand is a phenomenal brand. Uh, like I have said many times, Cardo is king. Uh, Cardo is king. I tried the Lexan for the money. Lexan is not bad at all, but I would much rather have Cardo, and I still would recommend Cardo over Lexan. Uh, I just feel like the user functionality of the Cardo, it's way easier to get to feel where the buttons are. The wheel, I mean, everything is just very easy. The only thing, in my opinion, Lexan has going for it over the Cardo is the flashlight on it, but realistically, I can't see a time when you would need that unless you were like broke down on the side of the road or you know something weird was going on in which case everybody's got a phone light I know it's more convenient to have it here but I mean how often are you doing that are you gonna base your whole intercom purchase based on if you're gonna be broken down or whatever like if you're fiddling with the wallet or whatever like that at a gas station gloves or something like that gas stations all have lights so you wouldn't need it in that situation I can't think of any other situation that you would need it in and I don't know, you could buy a $40 rechargeable flashlight that's a really nice light and you can keep it with you in all other aspects of life also. They have hooks and everything like little uh, metal hooks on them. You could hang them on, you know, clip them on your helmet or clip them on your shirt or whatever and you could do the same exact thing. And then you have both and like I said, you have the light for future outings as well. So yeah, uh, Lexan was okay. I'm still selling my Lexan. Uh, I have, you know, I used it for only about an hour-ish and then I put it right back in the box all the velcro uh, you know 3m tape velcro patches for either the speakers or the mic are brand new I didn't use them because I already had them in place for my cardo so if you want the Lexan let me know just comment on this video or hit me up on Instagram but uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up oh my god the Sun is blinding today I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video uh, let me know if you guys have the speaker system. I know one person already has up, uh, updated me and said they had the upgraded speakers for their Cardo and they said 100% in their mind worth it too. It was like the first thing they did. So there are other people out there that feel the exact same way as I do. I can't imagine you buying this speaker upgrade and being sad about it. I can't imagine you thinking it was either a waste of money 
or that it just didn't make that much of a difference because it does it's a huge difference like I said again and again I, I just keep saying the same thing so that's my cue I know that's time to stop the video if I just keep repeating myself it's boring for you guys I'm sure um, let me go park somewhere real quick and uh, actually you know what I'm gonna ride all the way home I just it's good weather I already got my helmet and my gloves on so I'll see you guys uh, back at home and then we'll talk about what Cardo told me as far as the firmware and we'll close this up and thank you guys for watching all right, so real quick before we close out this video, Cardo uh, support. Uh, if you're familiar with Cardo, unfortunately, I don't have a phone number you can call. You have to email, like submit, like a you know, like a contact request form where they email you back. They emailed me within two days. Um, that was Sunday, uh, the original taping of the video. Uh, so I emailed them or did the contact that night. They emailed me on Tuesday morning. Um, basically, uh, I. Exactly what I told you guys, showed on the video where you know the setting was already unlocked, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do because it can't unlock, it's already unlocked, if that's good or if there's something weird going on with my stuff and just out of curiosity why it uh, would already be unlocked. And I even suggested like, is this just some new firmware upgrade or like update or whatever? Um, and they responded basically copy pasting the directions of what to do. So that kind of sucks. Uh, still really like Cardo, but their customer service kind of sucked in that aspect. It's like they just chose not to read anything I wrote. Um, and they just saw like a couple keywords and like, oh, copy paste this, you know, kind of narrative. Um, the guy left his name and his contact information. So I emailed back directly. That was on Tuesday. As of me filming this part of the video, this is Friday now. Uh, Tuesday, I again stated everything and I said, you guys didn't answer my question. My question was, why would it have already been unlocked? And if that was okay, having mine as is with, you know, the already unlocked features and everything, if that should be there or whatever. Um, and I've yet to hear back from them, unfortunately. I don't want to postpone this video anymore because I have some very, um, I have some important news to share and some other videos that I really want to do. So I don't want to postpone this one right now. Um, so unfortunately, this is it. If I get anything, you know, anytime soon back from them explaining it, I'll post it in the description of this video and update it. So check there first. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, that was all that I have from them. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the links in the description uh, down below this video. Make sure you like this video. It really does help me out, uh, helping out the channel. Uh, and then obviously make sure you are subscribed to the one and only Ride and Dad channel on YouTube. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad out. <laughs>